Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan and today I'm going to be trying something. It's been on my list for a while, but I haven't gotten around to it until just now. And uh, they've got a lot of, they got a lot of bottles out now and I'd like to try them all. Maybe do like a full distillery lineup, but just to kick things off, this is from Hard Truth. This is an Indiana straight rye whiskey, four years old. It's basically like the bottled and bond rules, right? It's a hundred proof. It's at least four years old. Charred, uh, new charred oak barrels. Yeah, the works. So hard truth there, they, they do like, they've got like a full sweet mash distillery, right? And, and that's kind of their thing is the whole sweet mash process. If you're not familiar with sweet mashing, it just means that it's not sour mashed. There's no sweetening agents in it or anything like that. It just means they didn't take the, um, the spent grains at the bottom of the fermenta uh, fermentation vessel and, they, and carry them back. That is uh, sour mashing. And the whole reason you do that is because the, the spent grains at the bottom of the fermentation vessel are great for uh, pH control. It's like a great way to, to sort of catalyze the mash process. So uh, a lot of distillers will carry that backwards to the, uh, the new mash and uh, use it to, to jumpstart the process. So sweet mashing just means they didn't take sour mash back to the mash vessel. Uh, it's all just brand new. And uh, that does mean that they, they usually have to basically have some supplements that they add into it. Not a big deal, doesn't affect the flavor. Anyway, so this is Hard Truth. It's coming out of uh, Indiana, Southern Indiana. So like my old stomping grounds, I'm, I'm originally from uh, north side of Indianapolis and uh, spent a lot of time in Southern Indiana growing up because that's where my mom's family was from. It was like right in the Ohio Valley. So we'd go down there all the time right on the, the border basically between Indiana and Kentucky. Yeah, really pretty area actually, especially in the falls. But I wanna crack this open because I have heard basically nothing but good things about Hard Truth. People are saying like, this is like, if you like rise, this is your new shelfer. Okay, $45 for this bottle from Hard Truth, the 100 proof for four years old. 45 bucks, you gotta try it. It's gonna be a new shelfer rye for you. So I'm gonna test that. We'll see if it is. I've never had it before. And I love rye. Alrighty then, I'm gonna dive right into this. Ooh, that nose has some, I mean, very traditional rye notes. Sweet juniper berries, pine, think of pine sap specifically, the thick gooey stuff on the sides of pine trees. It's very potent. Think of that on the nose. A note of lavender as well, which is a note I'm very familiar with because we've got a couple of really big lavender bushes right outside my front door. My daughter likes to uh, pick a little bit off of, because they're huge, who cares? She, she'll grab a flower and pluck it off it and roll it between her fingers because then her hand will smell like lavender for you know the next couple of hours. Yeah, a little bit of lavender, a little bit of honey. Very springtime on the nose, which is perfect because it's kind of like where we're at in the year. Yeah, I like that. Very traditional nose for a rye. Let's try it. Cheers. The palate is nice and sweet. It, there's not too much of a punch to it. It's 100 proof, so it's not weak, but it's also not like overly aggressive. I think of um, fresh cornbread with a little drizzle of honey on top on the palate. Does it say the mash bill on this? It just says a mash bill that is at least 51% rye. That's all it says. So it looks like online they say that their sweet mash rye is 94% rye, 6% malted barley. It doesn't say it on this bottle in particular. But uh, if that is the case, I'm getting some really nice cornbread notes on something that doesn't have any corn in it, which is not unheard of, especially if it's a sweet mash. But there's a wonderful floral component to this as well. I think of honeysuckles especially. I grew up with a, a honeysuckle bush right outside my front door in Indiana. And as I was playing outside, oftentimes I'd be running past that bush and I'd just rip a flower off of it and you pull the stem through and it pulls the nectar out the other end. I don't know if you've ever done that as a kid with the honeysuckles, but oh yeah, that's where it's at. But yeah, this is very sweet, very floral. It has a, a, a thick sort of nectar and honey kind of a note to it that's, that's really nice, very pleasant, especially for a rye that is as young as this, you know, just four years old. That's not over, over peppery or spicy. There's a little bit of that in there, you know, sort of a hallmark rye flavor. But yeah, that's far more sweet and floral than I expected it to be. I like that a lot. I really do. Yeah, I could totally see this I mean, it's only 45 bucks for this bottle. I can totally see this being the kind of like daily sipper rye you would want. You know, it's not gonna be overbearing or anything. It's not gonna be overly fancy either, but it's just gonna be sweet and pleasant. And that's what this is. Not overly complex, just really good. I like that a lot. It reminds me a lot of um, another Indiana one, Rossville Union. It reminds me of, the, of their rye, which is also very good. So um, I'll give this a rating per my scale. 
Uh, I will take into account the price point being very approachable at $45. So considering the price point and what you're getting for it in terms of your value and uh, weighing the flavor of it overall, I think that I would probably say, I'm gonna land at a, I'll say a 6.9. It's, it's really good. It's really, really good. Yeah, not standout, superb, phenomenal, innovative, but it is comfortably above average, has a great flavor to it. I can see this being a great daily drinker, wonderful value for your money, right? But it's not gonna like tear down any expectations you might've had. It's not gonna revolutionize the way you see rye whiskey or anything like that, but it is really good. I will probably get another bottle of that sometime when I kill this one, because I just think that it's really tasty. And let me remind you, uh, my scale is a little bit different. Like a 6.9 isn't a D plus for me. That's not how my scale works, you know what I'm saying? Basically anything, a bad whiskey is gonna be like a four and below. So if it's above a four, it's at least got some redeeming qualities to it. I would say an average whiskey for me would probably be around like the four, 4.5 area. I think that on per my scale that, that qualifies it as being okay. So I'd say 6.9 to a 7.0, somewhere in there. That's where I would land this. It's just, it's just baseline, really good. There you go. So if you're looking for a really approachable rye, and maybe you're not really into rye, you'd like to try something out that's a little sweet, a little floral, and less like assertive and peppery, this might be the bottle for you. Check it out sometime from Hard Truth in Indiana. Uh, this is their 100 proof Indiana rye whiskey, straight rye whiskey. Cool. Cheers, my friends. Thanks so much for uh, watching the video. I appreciate you. Hey, make sure you check out the uh, link to the Discord in the uh, description as well. Uh, hop on in there. We have great discussions. We've got a wonderful community. Everyone's really generous and uh, just likes to chat and share stories and talk about their bottles and collections and all that stuff. It's great. We love it there. And uh, also feel free to check out the uh, link to the Patreon as well. That's what helps to fund all the bottles that I get to pick up here and review on the channel. So appreciate all the support there. Uh, the bottom tier is just a dollar a month. Very, very approachable. So feel free to Check that out too. Thanks to all my Patreon supporters. You guys are rock stars. Cheers, my friends. May you live richly and get better with age. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.